if you're looking to make solar simple, give Ron Domenico with AD Energy a call. All day energy made simple. Solar solutions with zero down, options to lease or finance, and roofs and trees are no issue. Call Ron Domenico at 609-226-2802 and tell him you saw him on the Sports Box. Well, hello again and welcome to the show that makes constipation look like a walk in the park. This is the Sports Box, where the only opinion that matters is right here. I am Mike Galetta, a.k.a. Hammond to Mike, along with my partner Brian. Great to talk. Brian? How are you, man? Oh. You feeling good? I'm feeling a little regular. You... Well, that's a plus. Isn't that a plus? That's, that's good to hear. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the viewers are very excited to hear that. They are, and you and else would be excited to hear that Chicago is moving and wheeling and dealing over here. To, two, to say the very least. Two big moves the Chicago Blackhawks make. First, we're going to start off with a deal that sends Nicholas Jalmerson to Arizona in exchange for Connor Murphy. B big deal, Brian. Big deal. Well, you know what's big deal is the money that... Jomerson's making yeah. four million a year. You yeah, know. the Jomerson, long time Blackhawks. Oh yeah, been wow. there, been there for many, many years. Yeah. And you know, yeah. you, you, you kind of see this team. You know, you, you kind of figured heads were going to roll yeah. after getting swept in the first round. Yeah. Uh, Jomerson, you know, he's thirty years old. Um, you know, he's a guy who one of those diamonds in the rough Chicago fan in the draft. Mm -hmm. But he's he's been there throughout their cup years, and you know, it's really interesting because again, you know, the management there was very happy. I was the way the season ended, yeah. and you knew they were going to make some big changes here. Jalmerson was probably the easiest to move their defenseman because of his contract. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you look at who they got back again, you know they're trying to get younger. Uh, Connor, Murphy, Connor Murphy. Connor Murphy was a 20th overall pick in 2011. A defenseman who they think hopefully maybe can slot in right to where Jalmerson was. Uh, you know, D Dauphin was a high pick in 2013. Hasn't really you know, done out. a whole whole lot yeah. at, the, at the pro level. So again, you know, prospects, but they clear the money out, and that that's really important because again, for for a team that is trying to get themselves out of cap hell. Um, you know, what's interesting is Murphy makes a little bit less right now um, than what John Merson made, but he's also locked in for many much more yep. period of time. Yep. So that you have some cost control there. Um, so it may not be a big, huge money drop for Chicago, but you know that they got this kid controlled for a longer period of time. It's, that means a lot. It's funny, they bring in John Merson as defense for a team that's missing their goalie that's been there for a long time, Mike Smith, he's off to the Calgary. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of a weird move, but... You know, at John Merson off to Arizona, at least he'll get a tan. But again, you know, Murphy signed through 2022, yep. so you're looking to keep, yep. you know, some continuity. John Merson Barber was going to be there in a couple years, and he's 30. Yep. So, interesting trade. From the Arizona standpoint, I think they're, they're looking to really maybe contend next year. Not contend, but at least, like, be relevant. Yeah. So I kind of get it. They, they traded some future here for some now. Not really their... God, they can't be any more worse than they were last year. Not, it's really not their M.O. to do this, but it's interesting. I, I like I like what the what they're doing there. And in the other move, the Columbus Blue Jackets acquire Artemi Panarin. Mm -hmm. For Brandon Sott. Off to Chicago again. It's Long time. Back home. He's going back to Chicago. Going back home. There's some other guys in a deal, but those are the main two players yes. in there. Um, you know, Sott, I think he's got a little bit left in him. Going back home. Shocker, Mike. Who, 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 who saw this coming? Yeah. You know, and, and yeah. listen. Thought he was comfortable in Columbus. Yeah, and you know, listen, Panarin's been fantastic. He scored 30 goals both the seasons he's been in the yeah, league. Yeah, they got great you know, bread, too. Oh, I'm sorry. That's well, yeah, they're going low carb. A little sad with Brandon <laughs> Saad and carb. Stan and Ellen there. Uh, but, you know, Saad's also done very well um, in, in Columbus as well. And, you know, you look back at, at kind of what prompts this. You know, again, I think that Saad never really wanted to leave, but I think that... You had to throw something in there. I, but I feel it. as though the, the Hawks didn't think they could sign him. That's true. Well, when he did get dealt, it was a money deal, too, as well. But there's a theme here, right? Yeah. So they think yeah. they, they could sign Saad, so they trade him out to Columbus. Yeah. Then they go reacquire Saad, who then signed. Yeah. For Artemi Panarin, who didn't think they were going to be able to sign. So it's <laughs> so, just, yeah. the, I mean... It's the, an ongoing cycle. Yeah, the, the money's pretty much identical, yeah. right, in, 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 in every year. I mean, Saad's cap hit is $6 million, and Panarin's cap hit is $6 million, right? Yep. But, but Panarin's got two years left on his deal, whereas Saad's got four. Yep. So again, from a Hawks standpoint, you get cost control for a longer period of time, you know what your team's going to look like, because they got a lot of contracts. You know, again, Kane and Tay is making over $10 million a year, two of the highest paid players in the yeah. game. And to be swept in the first round by Nashville? I, I definitely don't think this would be the last move for Chicago. I think they're no, going to do a couple more deals to clear up some room and, and, and bring some players back. So we will see. Should be very. But that. But you know, again, you know, that you knew that there were going to be heads rolling. Oh uh, yeah, that play of performance. I mean, we couldn't believe they were out in the first round like that. But I, but you know, on a certain point, you know, the whole Mary Hosted thing. We're talking about the Blackhawks. That's. A, I got to tell be you, a whole different show. It's that. just, you know what? Listen, I'm not. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. It's just very, very convenient. Okay, that Marion Host has a skin condition, that he can't he can't wear hockey gear, 
which again, I'm not discounting, it's probably legitimate, again, but it's just, it's just really convenient, right? So in the last four years of this deal are $1 million a year in cap hit. Mm -hmm. For, I mean, I'm sorry, $1 million a year in salary for five and a quarter in cap hit. Yep. So all of a sudden, the Hawks have $5 million they weren't really expecting, mm -hmm. and Hosts have to play for a $1 million. Listen, <sighs> for the conspiracy yep. theorists that are out there, I can't, I, I can't fight you. I, it, it, it's, it's too convenient to me, but we will see. You know, we'll hey, see. listen, I hope you're actually, host. I hope you I hope this works out for you. We'll see if you see him again in the league. I doubt it. We we, we will see. I doubt it. Should be. I'm going to shut my mouth. It's very interesting. And remember, the sports box. You can always get us on social media if you need to. Absolutely, Twitter and Facebook, as you can see in front of you. We're there at Sports Box Show, and also please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We thank you guys for the support. And you always can't forget that. Remember, at the Sports Box, the only opinion that matters is absolutely right here. Thanks for watching, folks. See this episode of the Sports Box is brought to you by Mike Up Entertainment and DJ Mike Villardi. For all of your event planning needs, make sure you contact Mike at 609-864-5925 and tell him that you saw him on the Sports Box. One, two, three. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe.